Hello, today I'm going to show you in Microsoft Excel how to use the rank function. I'm going to rank first, highest to lowest, then I'll rank lowest to highest, as in a golf tournament, and the third one I'm going to do is I'm going to actually rank within groups or within categories. This question actually came up this past weekend. So let's start off with the rank function, highest to lowest. I have a list of test scores in column C. I'm going to go ahead and use insert function. I'm going to just type in rank, click on go. The first one that it shows is for compatibility with Excel 2007 and earlier. So go ahead and select rank.eq. Click OK. You have two required arguments. The first is what number do you want to rank? I'm trying to figure out where the 100 is. In what range am I looking at? I'm going to select this entire range, which is C2 to C21. And I'm going to go ahead and absolute reference with the F4 function key. And then the next question is optional. What order do you want? By default, it is a zero if it's omitted, which means it's going to rank largest to smallest. So I'm going to just click OK right here. So the 100 is the highest value inside this range I just selected. I'm going to auto fill down. I should end up with the numbers 1 through 20 because I have a header row and I stop in row 21 and I do. If by chance two people have the same score, so I'm going to give two people 100, 1, 1, and then we go to 3. So it is working. Let's do it again. I'm going to go over to I2. We had a golf tournament. So now the lowest score is actually first. Insert function. I just used rank, so now it's showing up here. Let me move this out of the way. I want to rank H2, the range, H2 to H11. F4 function key for absolute reference. This time I'm going to change the order to the number 1. Click OK. It's actually showing me already that the number 66 and H2 is the first. It's got the number 1 right here. Auto fill down. I should end up with a total of 10 results because I have 10 players in the tournament. Same applies. Two of them have the exact same score. One, one, the 67 became three. Now, so there's rank by default highest to lowest. There was rank lowest to highest. The tricky one came across this weekend, and it's what made me decide to do this video. I want to rank highest to lowest, but within ranges. So I have Toyota, Ford, and Nissan. I want to rank the Toyotas together. They're a group. Nissan is a group. Ford is a group. The only way to figure this one out I could come up with is to use the sum product function. And I want to take this range. I'm going to absolute reference it. So that's A2 to A10. F4 function key equals A2. I'm going to close that one, multiply by, I'm going to select B2, because I'm trying to figure out where the 100 is going to be. It needs to be less than this range, which again needs to be absolute reference. Perfect, I'm looking at that. Close twice, and then I'm going to add the number 1. That's what's going to make it work. So Toyota, there's the formula again. 100 because 100 is higher than 90, which is also higher than the number 85. Let's pull it down just one time. So there's 1 and 2 for Toyota. When I pull it down again, that Ford should go to a number 1 because I'm in a new group. Nissan should get a number 1 because it's the first number in the Nissan group. Actually, no, that's correct. It got a number 2 because a Nissan, the 30, is higher than the 2. So this is working. There's a 3. So there's my Nissan. I intentionally put these together. If I test this, I'm going to make this the number 60. This should go to 1. 
one, three, and two is correct. So this is working now. Let me just pull this down, give it a few tests. So within Toyota, I have the number one, the number two, that's C2 and C3. And then if you look down in cell C8, I have the number three. Let's change this to 60. This should go to number three in C2. And it did. So that is how you would rank within groups using the sum product function. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a wonderful week.